Monkey! Money! Monkey! Like, okay, this video, by the time this video is out, this video's already, that video's already gonna be out. Like, yeah, no shit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm like that when I fucking say that. But yeah, the full video should be up if it fucking came home. <laughs> when are you guys getting it? I'll be getting it November 9th. I'm just gonna choose to wait. Because when I got to the shop, he said, uh, oh yeah, one of the portraits ca or is coming in now. So when that gets here, I'll put that part on, then we're just waiting for that one more part, and then it'll be good. Was, I'd be like, oh, monkey. I was going to take it home, but the Gerby said that he noticed when he took it for a test drive, there was like something else wrong with the front. That's kind of E. That's kind of some stupid shit that mechanics pull off. Yeah, all mechanics do that, but they're like, so there's this one fucking thing. But then again, that's kind of their job to yeah. see if there's actually a problem or not. So It's like how when you go in just to get your oil changed and they're like, so you're going to need all new fucking tires. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, I don't fucking want all new tires so mm -hmm. unless you're fucking paying for them. It's like, yeah, man, you're going to need a new fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dumb. Everybody is and comes in being like so the engine's fucked that's gonna be about five grand right there just to tell you so that bitch i just came to get my brakes checked <laughs> <laughs> his favorite movies and music and shit like that that's fucking gay fucking Monkey. E. my favorite movie is by dylan harper Monkey. <laughs> yo i was watching that today it was fucking fire. I was watching Riley in the Nut House, Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite part of that movie was fucking. I want more, Monkey. <laughs> I watched that one season where um stepbrother came home, Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I seen that uh, I seen that one fucking show where uh, she got stuck in the fucking laundry machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I seen the one where she got stuck underneath the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen one like that. Like she was hiding under a fucking blanket and the dude was just like Why is this pussy sticking out? <laughs> I'm stick my dick inside of it. <laughs> Here's what I got from like the flashing ad that I seen on my screen. <laughs> so it was a guy fucking one of those like sex dolls that's only the hip. And like the pussy and shit. Oh, was it that black girl with the afro? And she's like, I need a blanket. She's like that, waiting for a fucking lesbian to come on. <laughs> yeah. And the guy's like, <laughs> Yeah, he fucking looks at her, just like. <laughs> uh, mine's like probably a fucking shooter, uh, Mark Wahlberg. This fucking ninja talked about that back when he fucking seen it. He was like, Yo, we should fucking watch it. I think it's on fucking this channel. By the time, by the time I fucking finish the movie, I'll sit there in the fucking ghillie suit walking around. <laughs> um, I have a fucking water bottle on my Nerf gun. <laughs> <laughs> it actually scared you a little bit. Like, made you actually think, like, holy fuck, what if that was, like, me and that was a real and shit? A movie that I watched the trailer for and thought this is gonna be really cool and then actually made me physically fucking ill for the next couple days is hereditary. Um, spoilers for hereditary, I guess. I don't give a shit. You don't give a shit. So it starts out. Basically, there's this high school girl, except she's got huge boobs. I mean, some serious hunkers. A real set of donkers. Packing some Doban hunkeros. Massive the hunka bank of lose. Big old ton hunger cougars. What happens next? Transfer student shows up one day with even bigger bunk hanaga hooks. Humongous hunger longa no no logongas. With this brother. And I'm serious about skipping this. You really should if you haven't watched it. Basically. Um. And then halfway through the fucking movie. The hunka bank of loot. Her and her brother go to a party. And this little bitch is allergic to nuts. And she eats this fucking cake. Because no fucking. Like. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. I think you watched it with Jen. Yeah. I watched it a couple times. And fucking. Yeah. She goes into. She gets. She eats this fucking cake. And there are nuts in it. And then she goes into. Her brother's, like, not room, but the room he's sitting in at the park. Because the thought of having to deal with stuff like that... Ben and probably were late. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he, had, he had peanuts before. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. That's gotta be fucking, like... Honestly, nut he's allergies. Like, he's drink. I was like, hey, fuck off, no one cares. Monkey. <laughs> he's like, I'm, I'm, I need something to drink. You were like, hey, go die in the fucking other room. <laughs> hey, man, no one gets fucked. Monkey. Okay. And, uh... That immediately had me like, oh, this dude's gonna try and get his sister to the hospital and she's gonna, like, be all fucked up or something. And then he puts her in the car and he starts driving and he's going, like, 80 and he's just like, we're gonna fucking get there. And the little bitch in the backseat is like, 
Knock yeah, off. she fucking rolls the window down and puts her head on. She's just like, <sighs> and then a fucking deer like appears in the road, and he just like. And then you hear, and then something roll, and then you know the little bitch. Sitting there like. Yeah, but he sits there and he know and like this is honestly a really good scene. He sits there and he just like, and he whispers. I think he whispers, oh, "Are you okay?" And he doesn't look in the back seat because I think he knows she's dead. Like he's staring directly ahead, and then he just like, and just drives away real fucking slow. When he goes home. And I'd probably walk home. Like if that happened to me, I'd probably walk home. I wouldn't drive home. Fuck that. I think okay. I just don't want a fucking dead body sitting in my car while I'm driving the whole time. Like, I think it was mainly due to shock. Like I feel like if that happened, like I can handle my shock pretty well, but fucking still. I don't know, man. Like I'd if, like, if nah. you fucking knocked a woman's head off, I think you'd probably be like, I'm like someone stole the car. Um. <laughs> What the fuck are you looking at? Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> or before you fucking cut me off like an asshole. Um, <laughs> the the weird thing is that like when her head got knocked off, she she's she could probably still see her fucking head leaving her fucking body. Yeah. Um, I I never stick my fucking head out the window. I have. I've done it a lot. I know. <laughs> I do it in I, fucking I, I, videos. I only, only go like this. Yeah. I, I I think Hereditary is one of those movies that really fucked with me. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Like, scary movies. Um. Mine was probably Lights Out. Because I've seen it, and I was like, even though it was like kind of typical shit, like, oh, you turn the light on, it's not there or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, still, I still think that. I, I like the short film a lot more. Yeah. I don't know why I brought this up for a fucking ADHD, but. Um, the thing that kind of scared me, like, was like a video that scared you from like anything. It could be like horror. Oh, or I know whatever. exactly the video you're going to talk about. Yeah. You can I'm going to fucking hate editing this because I have to fucking watch the whole fucking. Oh yeah, I got a Twitter, guys. Uh, oh, but uh, yeah, anyways, before I even fucking finish this stuff. Fucking shut up, monkey. <laughs> no, okay. go on. If you get scared really easily, um, I'll put the fucking time to skip it. Uh, yeah, there you go. That video, when I when I seen that fucking, like, I, I was originally watching it from uh, this guy right here, Art of Kicks. I always watch his shit all the time. He's funny. And, like, he's not that annoying to watch. But um, when I watched it, I was, like, I was doing the same. I was doing the same thing he was. When he seen it, he, he was going like this. I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't do that. But I just, I just kept looking at him. After I seen it, it was fucking sketchy looking. I just kept staring at his reaction. I wasn't watching the video right here. This is mainly going back to my house being fucking haunted, and, uh, I remember yeah, real, a time... Real quick, don't want to cut you off what I do, but... Fucking haunted. Ha haunted house. Okay, we remember. Um, also no one gives shit. Monkey. Like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you guys this after. So, yeah, um, he was actually here for this memory, and, uh, me and him were... Yeah, you're gonna fucking scare me. <laughs> we, we were cuddling on my couch, and, uh... We were watching creepy pasta videos because I had a fucking. Yeah, I have to walk home, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, we were watching creepy pasta videos because I had an obsession back in like. It's dark out, monkey. <laughs> 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 okay, so I should I should keep a straight face there in that. <laughs> it's fucking dark. No, but um, yeah, we were, I, we were watching creepy pasta videos and. <laughs> hey, it's gonna get me, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, monkey. Um. And, <laughs> and me and him, one of them had a video come up, and it had a bunch of screaming in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. And I, we we turned off all the lights because the video was like, you should watch this with all the lights off. Me and him are laying there feet to feet to ass basically, and so it wasn't gay. And neither of us wanted to say that we were scared, but we were both sitting there like. 
And, like, remember, this isn't us being pussies. We were, like, 10. <laughs> we were, like, 15. <laughs> uh, I think we were, like, 14, 13. I think we were 13. That sounds right. And remember, we were home alone that night. Like, my yeah. family was gone. They were lo gone for a weekend. <clears throat> I had the house to myself, and I didn't want to be alone, so I invited him over. And, yeah, we were sitting there chilling, and... We we both started getting scared, and I got up to go turn the lights on. Can't you get scared, monkey? <laughs> You're like, hey, it's gonna get me, monkey. I went to get up to get the lights, and I got up, and I didn't. I don't know why I didn't just turn the TV on. Um, but I wanted to go for the big light, and I was just like, I can do it. And I ran to fucking do it, and then I even after I turned it on, I still made a fucking dash back to the couch, and I was like, boom, and. I think, I don't think this was the same night, but I think it happened another time where we were doing the exact same shit. We were hanging out and fucking watching creepy shit. And then in my basement, we heard a shit ton of fucking boxes just fall and tumble over. I forget if the door was locked. I think it was. Yeah. The, the basement door. No, the basement door didn't have a lock back then. Oh, yeah. Um, And yeah, we both just fucking heard a bunch of shit fall over in the back back room. Mm hmm and we didn't have mice, we didn't have rats, we didn't have a fucking pet. There was nothing down there to knock shit over. And both of us were just like, nah, bro, and went and turned fucking every light on. Mm -hmm. And we sat on the couch the whole night staring at the fucking... Basement, though. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> fuck even, that even, shit. Even after, we were, like, we were still sitting there, like, we were talking about whatever. Yeah. And then we heard, like, more shit, like, moving, we like, we looked at each other, like, what the fuck is that? There's no one here. And, like, I'm being genuine, if we... I don't think we knew Wolf. No, we did. Yeah, we knew him, but we didn't, like... Yeah, we didn't go over regularly. But if we did by that time, I guarantee you, I would have been like, nah, I'm fucking going to war. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... I... When I first moved into the basement... I don't know why I'm po pointing down, like, my fucking car is a basement. Um, <laughs> But I first moved down there, and I didn't have, like, a bedroom. It was, like, a very open space basement. Um, So they just pushed me into this corner. And, you know, it was... There was, like, a, another room, but it was just one big room. You can actually find a video of us in it on his old channel. Um, I can't Clip remember what right the video Yeah, and uh, in that video, that was the room we were in, and my room wait, wait, was- are you talking about the room with the lights out of that? The one that had the good fucking echo with uh, right. for ear rape. Yeah. And yeah, we, we hung out in there a lot, and right outside of that room was my bedroom. Um, and when I first moved down, I didn't have no fucking curtain for my window, um, which is why most of my curtains are now just- fucking blacked out blankets because I just I'm really paranoid about stuff also I just like sleeping in pure darkness a little bit fucking didn't hang a thing up because I didn't have thumbtacks and I just laid in bed and I looked outside that window for the whole fucking night and I was like fucking looks like I'm gonna wake up and someone's gonna fucking look at me and try and tickle me but then this fucking bitch came over to come I think just go to wolves or something and he knocks on my window or something like that, and he fucking, I open it, and he's like, why the fuck's there a chair out there? <laughs> and I, I fucking thought it was him. Are you fucking around? Yeah, and like, just trying to fucking <laughs> scare me and shit. But he swears even fucking, like, four or five years later that he didn't do it, so. Well, I wonder if Jasmine or someone out of them did it, because they knew you slept in the basement. That's true. Oh, no, they didn't come around then, I don't think. Oh, yeah, I think they were moved out. Jasmine was in town. And this for some reason, it's fucking Dean's goofy ass. That would be even creepier. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the creepy stories we have. Me and him have a lot of them together. Yeah. Fucking, this this whole res, honestly, we've talked about this since we were kids. This whole res feels a bit fucking fucky. Like, we got fucking... Everyone, a, pa a lot of people that I've talked to about paranormal shit down here say that everyone down here has one story. That, like, they just can't fucking explain. Me and him have, like, 11. Well, when I see, like, shit that's, like, actually pretty creepy, for some reason, like, I don't know if you have this, too, when you get freaked out and, you're, like, you, you're actually really scared or something, do your eyes water? Or yeah. You, when you won't be scared, but, like, you'll get, like, 
a chill. Tense. Yeah, like, yeah really fucking tense. Yeah, your eyes like water. Yeah, that happens to me. When I when I when I know I might be in danger, I, that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. But when I'm like, I think of something and it it, it scared me then and it still scares me now. My eyes will water. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. It. My eyes just water a little. Explain. Me and him have like eleven. Because I was thinking about that time when uh, me and you were walking by Julie's, and uh, we're, we're we're walking home from the community center like that, and uh, we heard like like running up behind us. Holy and we, we fuck! We and turn around. We didn't hear shit. Then we run up to gigs like that, and then my auntie Julie, we didn't know that she was coming over to gigs, mm -hmm. and then uh, she comes running in the house. And she's like, she just freak out too. I was like, what'd you hear? She's like, I thought I heard like, like running up behind us. She had said the exact same noise too. Yeah. And the exact same way it, it sounded. Me and you looked at each other like, nah, what the Me fuck? and him genuinely can't fucking explain that. Like, what the fuck is that shit? Mm -hmm. Like, how do you, how do you explain that? Imagine you hear something run up behind you and then five minutes later, someone else comes up and describes the exact same shit. Without even like knowing you guys are there or anything yeah. like that. In a fucking creature one night. I say creature, it could have just been a fucking hootie, but fucking, I'm gonna try and stop swearing for this, but fucking, no, that don't sound right, but fucking shit monkey, um, me and him were at the community center because we were fucking broke boys and we didn't have Wi-Fi back then, so we just went there to chill for the whole night on our tablets and shit, and this no good fucking prick looks over to me as like, put your shit in your bag, we gotta go. And I, and, and he, that, that happened like three times. You did that so much, and it. I was like, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and he'd do it just to fuck with us, but uh, this night he looked pretty fucking serious because he didn't just sit there. He actually got up and started packing his shit up and walking away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I so, I doing that shit. so I was like, nah, bro. So I threw my tablet in my backpack and I got up and walked behind him. And I'm like, what the fuck do you see? And he waited until we were pretty far. Like, we reached, like, just a bit closer to the road and we're standing under one of the big-ass lights there. And he looks towards, the like, the bushes. And he's like, I seen something back there. Or I heard something or something like that. And <laughs> I was like, nah, bro, quit fucking around. And he was like, no, I'm not fucking with you. And he, then he pulls a machete out. And I was like... Okay, we're gonna fucking die now. And I look back, and I actually do feel like I seen something like really. Okay. E. No good. You fucking die. I think I just gotta keep turning it back on. Oh yeah, I died. Oh, that's why I just set up against the cold ass fucking thing. Oh yeah. Um, here, right here. I'll just put mine there, then you can put yours over mine. So yours will. Mine's already at twenty eight, so it's probably gonna die pretty quick. Let's see if we're even recording. Yep. 37 minutes. Um, and yeah, he he fucking looks over at uh the bushes, and I thought I seen something real fucking something pretty fucking tall standing in the bushes, and we have a lot of tall bushes, but this looked innately human, and I immediately start talking shit <laughs> to a fucking demon. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna come over there and slash your ass, and we see it fucking crouch down. And both of us just like, yeah, nah, bro. Yeah, that is weird. Even like now, I'm I'm more mature and shit, and I don't. I still can't explain that. Yeah. Cause a bush can move this no, way and this way. Mo most things like, before we were stupid little kids and anything would pretty much scare us because we didn't know anything. Mm -hmm. But like even now, like I know shit. That still scares me yeah, to think about. Yeah. Like I think about it, I'm like, no, that's probably not real. But then again, like when I think about. In that moment when that, when that It's kind of seared into your head, like, the memory of it crouching. Yeah. That's I, the one part I remember the most, is that fucking way that it went, like... Yeah. I'll... I'll t tomorrow, we'll probably film a little bit. I'll reenact that exact fucking shit of how it did it. We should probably just go to the community center tomorrow and do that. And yeah. We, re we, we can fucking reenact. Caden would be good for this shit. Yeah. Caden, Caden has some good fucking stories. I remember you told me that one story like that, and I was like, Stephen, I was like... Okay, man, shut up, monkey. <laughs> yeah, Kane, Kane, Kane told us. <laughs> Fucking Bennett was sitting there like this the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> well, good thing you did. We've had a lot of weird things happen. Even at that tree over there, we heard something like run underneath us. Yeah. And like, like the, the weird noise in the distance, like those weird animal sounds. Yeah. I forget how they went, but. Fucking, they only happen in like summertime. Honestly, I'll mention to you guys this. That night at the tree fucked with me because I'll probably tell this story again too. I don't want to right now, but uh, 
that fucks with me because we were just talking and joking about skinwalkers and stuff mm -hmm. when we started hearing like things in okay, the bush. Breaking no? We're dropping um, this no good ass off. Her stupid ass fucking broke the fucking thing. <laughs> Okay. She fucking had to ruin the fucking vibes. She fucking started talking about skinwalkers and shit. Okay. <laughs> we were talking about skinwalkers that night. Mm -hmm. We were like, fucking gonna come and get you. And then we went to drop her ass off and you fucking your ass was just like... Eek! The thing about skinwalkers, I know I cut you off. It does again. say it just brings bad luck and shit too. Yeah. And like it'll know. So It's like, oh, it only happens and comes for you if you're native or if you believe in it. Yeah. But like... Talking about I, I, it too. You I can't. You're not supposed to talk about them. I don't believe in it so much. But then again, I'm, I'll, I'll be scared as fuck if something like that happened. So, you, you and to be scared of something, I guess you have to believe in it. Yeah. A, in a certain. At way. least a little bit. There's at least that primal part of your brain where you're like, I mean, that's kind of the truth with everything. There's always a primal part in our heads mm -hmm. that has us being like, the earth is a weird place and it's existed for a long, long time. Fucking animals and creatures are fucking being discovered every day. Yeah. Like we and just found a fish that's called the telescope fish that can yeah. fucking open its mouth like that fucking wine and be yeah. like, and it fucking looks at you and it's just like. I just seen that like a week ago. And. was an bro. Like. I. Try and keep a closed mind about it and be like, no, paranormal stuff can't be, like, real. But I'll be honest, why? Like, why can shit like that just not exist? Because the world has always seemed a little bit paranormal, mm -hmm. to me at least. Like, even me, um... The world is a fucking weird-ass place. Yeah. It's like a really weird we, place. We... Came to life from fucking fish, guys. Let's think about that for a minute. What part of that doesn't sound paranormal? Like, a fucking <laughs> fish one day was just like, nah, fuck this shit. I don't mean to shit on anyone's culture or what they believe in or anything like that, but Caden, I don't know, I'll probably, I don't know. I'll probably we'll probably cut this out. I don't know, I'll probably leave it in. Because I don't know. Caden's really native. Yeah, he's like, I don't know. Me, personally, I believe in, like, evolution. But fucking Caden... I don't mean he's, shit. I'm native. I don't mean to shit on anyone's whatever. But fucking, yeah, he was like, no, I think even Kaylin was like arguing with him about this. He was like, so you, you think we came down and fell on a fucking turtle, a big ass turtle's back, and then whatever. And I kind of laugh about them, like, yeah. I, I kind of think some natives are just. I, 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 like, I like the native, like, yeah, I like, stuff. Yeah. I, I think our religion is honestly really cool. Honestly, pretty badass, yeah. But it isn't like... Yeah. Honestly, I think I'd believe in Christianity more than I'd believe in a giant fucking turtle. Yeah. Puked us up. I don't know what dinosaurs are, though. But that's true. That's evolution. So. I think, to me, dinosaurs proves more about evolution. Like, mm -hmm. look at those fuckers. Like, the some something I do like to imagine, like, Kate, though... Caden fucking believes in, like, turtle shit, but doesn't believe in, like, evolution, but believes in dinosaurs. He's like, he doesn't look at a crocodile, but oh no, that's not a crocodile, it's like something you know, fucking they just call it. Oh yeah, crocodile, stuff. everyone knows this fact, crocodiles and chickens are like... like dinosaurs. Yeah. Same, same with mosquitoes, mosquitoes are dinosaurs. Yeah, mosquitoes have been around forever. This is more ADHD shit. The ocean scares the fuck out of me. We should only just call this the ADHD <laughs> podcast. We just <laughs> jump to jump to shit. Right? Yeah, the ocean scares the fuck out of me a little bit. Yeah, that's, that scares me too. I'm not scared of like, well, I kind of am. I'm scared of what I don't know about. <laughs> like, look at the look up a pic, look up the picture of like the goblin shark. Ominous run in with a goblin shark. Like in the telescope fish. Yeah. That scares the fuck out of me that the, that exists. The goblin shark is like how it's, it's jocks. His ass is just like. Ugly ass fucking shark too. I don't think I'd be so much scared of like a, a great white or whatever. Like I would look at them big fuckers. Well, yeah, but you know, I, I think it's a great white, 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 fucking black <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not because I think <laughs> you I don't even know your own point. You're like, <laughs> yeah, what so am I talking about? This one time at the haunted house, fucking monkey. Fucking <laughs> 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 Um. Yeah, so me and him were on the res once, monkey. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but I think it's the great white sharks that don't like attack humans if they're swimming. They only attack surfers because they think they're fucking paddle boards or whatever. I mean, they attack humans mostly just because they think that we're seals. Because we, like, at the underbelly of a human looks the exact same as a seal. And we both, like, swim like fucking that and shit. So fucking sharks just like, mmm, fucking dinner. They fucking I'm come up and they're like, gonna treat you like a little buck. They're like, mmm. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> Holy fuck. I, I'd like to I'd like to fucking see a shark and just like cut my finger open and just be like and just watch him go like Fucking see a poke its head out of the water just stare at you and be like, hey fucking get back down, monkey. I, I, I'm really scared of the ocean just cause one of, my, one of my biggest fears like I'm not finished, monkey. <laughs> it would be to be stuck at sea. Yeah. I, That's I, just my worry. I don't want to be around in water and shit. There's, like there's a movie called, uh... I'll start panicking if I'm on a boat and it's sinking. I'll fucking panic if I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'll be like, nah. The idea of being on the Titanic scared me. Yeah. And, like, I, I know I'm never going to be on the Titanic, but I was like, if I was... Well, they're making one this year. It's already it. made. Yeah. It's it's going it, to cost way more than we could it, fucking pay. It, it, no, it's going around this year to the same trail the Titanic took. Yeah. That's all. Although now nowadays there are no fucking icebergs for it to crash into. <laughs> fucking us humans keep fucking, fucking shit throwing apartment. fucking trash into the fucking ocean. Fucking uh I said fucking like eight times. <laughs> <laughs> fucking monkey <laughs> <laughs> bitch monkey. <laughs> At the end of the Titanic when she grabs that fucking whistle out of that dead dude's mouth and starts going like <laughs> I was like, yo, imagine if that dude had, like, AIDS or something, and she's just, on, like, herpes, and she just, like, sucks on his whistle, and then he wakes up tomorrow, and, like, she just got rescued, and then her fucking face is just, like... Looks like a fucking boomer left for dead. <laughs> like, there's fucking barnacles on her ass. Wakes up with fucking Spongebob licking her tip. <laughs> fucking Patrick is just slapping her ass. <laughs> <laughs> got fucking Squidwards. <laughs> Um, like a Mr. Crab punching her tits. <laughs> <laughs> What's your worst fear when driving or in the car? My worst fear is genuinely not me being the one to crash, but to get in a part where like I'm just driving and being normal, and someone else starts fucking doing that uh, thing where they like get over on my side, like if they're drunk and they're just like, mm -hmm. like that to me gets. Re I think about that a lot. Where I'm like, what would I do if I was just driving? Because we have little parts on our roads where they dip. And the road gets pretty thin. Mm -hmm. And it got those two guardrails. And I was like, what the fuck would my plan be? Like, like he pulled into the middle and they were going this way. That's so he would have at least went like that. That's the thing that's like kind of sketchy. Because like, you don't know if you should move. Because he might move back. But oh shit. Yeah. But, or, or if you should just stay there and like chance it. Like, either way, you could be fucked. That's why I'd want to get a fucking drifting car. I'd be like. <laughs> fucking turn around ahead of him. Roll be it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking go to turn, just fucking stop. We'll be like, oh my god! <laughs> get stuck up the fucking door. Hey, hey, I like bitch with your mess. Hey, <laughs> fucking go to fucking try and Tokyo drift. Be like, be like. Ah. <laughs> 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 fucking friends get thrown out the window. Oh my god. I I'd like to make that like a little funny short film. Well, honestly, um, a big chunk is safer. Yeah. The other thing that scares me when I'm in the car is the throttle sticking. That's the other thing. Oh, fuck. Because I don't want to be somewhere and, like, have decent brakes. A fucking car goes, and I'm fucking, like, trying to fucking whatever. If there's, like, a bunch of people in front of me, or if there's, like, a little pole, and then I just started, I'd immediately crash on a fucking pole. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be going flying down the fucking highway and, like, have nothing to crash into and slow me down. There, there was a story me. about that that comes with a 911 call mm -hmm. where a whole family was in a car and they were speeding down the fucking highway and he was like, we got no brakes! Mm -hmm. And you could hear them all like just getting more and more panicked and stuff and he was like, I'm gonna try something and that was it. They fucking died. He, I can't remember what he tried to do but that was his last words was, I'm gonna try and stop it. And then he fucking crashed into something like they got all fucked. The thing I would have done, maybe, I, I think about this like, some cars, to put in park or whatever, or most cars anyway, unless they have standard. Um, well, I think if you're in standard, you fucking break the car. If you don't, yeah, you break it, I think. So, um, if you're in a car like this, on an automatic, you're like, I think, if you're gone and you have brakes, 
whether they work or not. I think they have to work though, at least a little bit. Slam on the fucking brakes and throw it in park. It's like hitting the brakes really fucking hard. Well, either way, you're hitting the brake. Mm-hmm. But I think I'm pretty sure everything will stop, like your front tires and your back tires. So yeah. If you hit that, you be. Able... <laughs> but then again, your engine will be still revving the fuck up because uh whatever. Unless you manage to do that, hit it in park and then turn off your car, which I think you can do. But like either way, if you don't, whatever. I'm not. I don't know. I don't think about that much. I think about like what I would do if like it's stuck and I wasn't thinking about that. I I have always said that I'd try and make my way down to the flats and like just go in the river. I don't think you'd make it to the flats. Cause if, say if you're coming down this road mm-hmm. and you're going, by the time you come around those corners, this road's a straight road. By the time you get from the school to that stop sign right there, you'd be going at like two hundred probably. Yeah, that's true. And then you turn a little bit, your fucking car's gonna fucking start sliding and you're gonna flip off the road. Yeah, that's fucking true. So you'd have to just be started to get to the flats, and even by then, the flat still has a, a like a, a bend in it. Yeah, it, and got it still some has turns. a rocky road too. So you just fl- slide into the field. The only thing that I would do is because you're on a highway. Highways sometimes have those um boards. Well, not sometimes they always do in between the, the things anyway. I would try and like maneuver myself all the way to the side and like skid on the fucking side of the thing. That, that I think that would work. That, sounds... that but the only thing those barriers they have a thing like this and then it goes like this mm-hmm. and your car might fucking just go bomb and you might fucking flip and start rolling either way that might be safe but you put others out fucking i barriers. i don't know what my thought process is like if i it came to something like that like i don't know if i'd be like do i crash and kill myself but also some 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 things i'm gonna cut you off again but roads or highways whatever if you're throttle sticks mm-hmm. Most of them don't have a thing for the other side of the road. You can crash and like, most of the time it's fields and they're like bumpy shit that might slow you down, but you're still going to keep going. But either way, it should slow you down enough to where you can jump out of the car and it's all grass and whatever and you can roll and it won't fucking break your fucking face. I know some cars, I know some cars are fucking, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh, no. <laughs> I know that scared me too. <laughs> I just heard humming up. Like, what the fuck is that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so just up here? Uh, no, I'm more up the road. Okay. <clears throat> Wanna go to McDonald's after? I'm fucking hungry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking hungry too. Oh shit. Oh! We're gonna wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, subscribe. Um, Comment. Go to my go to, channel. Go to his channel. It'll be right fucking here. here. We're right here. It's go my go, fucking go, go channel. I'll fucking pronounce it, monkey. <laughs> and Scam's right here. Um, this guy's fucking awesome. This guy's a fucking asshole. This guy smells like fucking shit. This guy's no good and never comes. And this guy fucking smells like ass. E. But this guy's fucking awesome. E. <laughs> okay, now I'll do nah, one for yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my fucking... No one gives a shit. My right, Twitter is here. My Instagram. Instagram's here, my fucking Discord will be here maybe. I don't fucking know. Go fucking follow. Like left? You're like Yeah, go left and then go right. I can't even move my fucking wheel! What's this? Uh, we can move. go right more, but I don't want to break the fucking. He's trying to rally race the club. Be like, he comes up, I'll give it to that He just fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> really funny.